I had my first episode of mental health issues when I was 23. Gave birth to my third child. When she reached 18 months old, uh, that was the age I was when my mum died. So that triggered off certain emotions and what have you. And um, I had my first episode in Guy's Hospital. I spent three months in there. At South London Morsey NHS Foundation Trust, we provide adult mental health services across four London boroughs, Lambeth, Lewisham, Southwark and Croydon, with a total population of over 1.1 million people. In recent years, we've experienced unprecedented demand for our services. This, together with significant financial pressure in the health and social care system and areas of historic underfunding in our services, has led us to consider how we can continue to provide safe and effective services for our patients. Our response has been to develop the adult mental health model. This is a bold, innovative approach aimed at preventing people from becoming ill, caring for people in the most appropriate place and integrating physical, mental and social care around the person. SLAM's adult mental health model aims to achieve these outcomes in three main ways. Firstly, by highly skilled staff assessing people's needs effectively when they are first referred to us and closer working with primary care colleagues. Secondly, by reducing the frequency and severity of any relapses that our patients experience through earlier and more effective treatment. And thirdly, by supporting people to receive their care from primary care services, by working with them and their GP practice to ensure their needs can be met within primary care. The experience for someone using the service should be much more seamless rather than feeling that I do something here, I get referred to there, I get referred to there. I would have a range of things that I can offer them from peer support, other people with lived experience of mental health problems, an integrated talking therapy service which brings in psychology, brings in counselling and where necessary we have access to the specialist mental health experience of psychiatry, psychology if that's needed. The adult mental health model has been developed together with patients carers, commissioners and providers. As a result, it's being implemented in slightly different ways in each borough. We've drawn from evidence from national and international research in early intervention services, findings from the Rethink Mental Illness Schizophrenia Commission, and investing in recovery reports and nice guidance for severe and enduring mental health problems, including schizophrenia, anxiety disorders and personality disorders. Our new assessment and liaison services help ensure that people get the right treatment at the right time. It provides a single point of entry for referrals from GPs and highly skilled and experienced clinicians carry out initial assessments. Closer working with primary care colleagues is central to its success and the service works at extended hours to match GP surgeries to help facilitate this. Urgent referrals can be made more quickly reducing the number of people in crisis who need to visit A&E. And where required, the service helps people enter hospital services more easily. Through the adult mental health model, we are reducing caseloads and changing the mix of skills in psychosis and mood anxiety and personality disorder treatment teams. This gives staff more time to engage with and support a patient's recovery and to offer state-of-the-art treatments, health education programmes and to take earlier proactive steps to prevent crises and to minimise their length and severity when they do occur. The anticipated result of this is better, more effective treatment, fewer hospital admissions and shorter inpatient stays. When I had my last um, episode when I felt really not well, when I felt I didn't want to live no more, and when I went to St Thomas's, the doctor that I saw there, when I'd explained to him, I've seen this person, that person, I don't want, I don't want to talk to anybody anymore. Between him and my doctor, they got me onto Maudsley. And I started my therapy eight months ago here, and been the best thing I ever, ever done. The care, the, that's so important, the care, even when I'm at home, the phone calls just to see how I am and um, everything like that, it's just wonderful. I feel reborn again.
Through AMH, our home treatment teams are changing so that they can intervene earlier when people are in crisis and can support earlier discharge from hospital. The team will work closely with colleagues and other community teams to identify people before they need admission to hospital and support them to stay well at home through increased home visits. They will also facilitate early discharge from hospital by providing daily home visits to continue intensive support to people as they recover from a crisis in their own home. I feel that early intervention is critical for my role as a carer. I do not want to see who I care for end up back in the system. It's so important that we have highly skilled staff get into the situation, get into the crisis point and diagnosing what needs to be done rather than leaving the carer as myself worried, frustrated and having to care to almost breaking point. A full and rigorous evaluation of how the adult mental health model is working is taking place. We are examining this from multiple perspectives because we want to know if the service is effective, caring, responsive, safe and well-led. A key outcome measure is whether we help improve recovery and reduce relapse, which in turn enables people to spend less time in hospital and ultimately to get on with their lives and to move on from mental health services back to primary care. We will measure all of this, clinical measures of how well people are, relapses, hospital admission and readmissions, length of stay, time in crisis but not in hospital, discharges to primary care. We will also look carefully at whether we are providing safe services, for example by looking at rates of serious incidents and complaints, and also compare outcomes between the four boroughs that SLAM works with. Combining both these methods, comparisons both before and after and between boroughs, will give us a good and robust evaluation of the effects of these changes. We will use the academic resources of SLAM and the Institute of Psychiatry, Psychology and Neuroscience, where we have experts in service evaluation research, health economics, informatics, epidemiology and statistics, to ensure we draw valid conclusions and make a good assessment of cost effectiveness, taking account of the other factors, such as social disadvantage and differences between localities. The AMH approach is ambitious. Similar changes have not been adopted anywhere else in the UK on this scale. But we believe these changes are necessary if we are to deliver good outcomes for our patients in the current financial climate. Through AMH, it will be easier to assess patients and they will see an appropriate service more quickly. Community teams will be better resourced and staff will have an enhanced mix of skills. There will be a closer and more proactive focus on patient need to help them stay well at home and to avoid preventable relapses. Patients who do come to hospital will be helped home faster with more opportunities to be supported back into their community. I never imagined that I would feel the way I feel ever again in my life until I've had my sessions here. I'm on my road to recovery now.